If you're in the market for a small 30 amp battery charger that is also a 100 amp car starter, this is something that I thought was well worth looking at. It's a $120 unit, and as I said, it will start a car. There is no battery inside, it has to be plugged in like a traditional charger, but it does have multiple modes of charging from zero to 30 amp. It does have a three amp battery tender, it does have a battery recondition mode, and an alternator tester, which I'm not 100% sure on that part, but I can tell you that the rest of the stuff does work quite well. We just connected the battery and it's kind of hard to see with the camera. It's showing 12.1 volts here. We can do multiple things with this. If we just push the big charge button, it will go through and start its charging process. It's gonna tell us the amps that's gonna go through here. Unless we push battery voltage, then it'll come over and tell us the voltage that's going through. We can switch between that stuff pretty easily. If we wanted to do a battery recondition, we could just push that button and it'll start its reconditioning mode. There's a lot of different things that we can do in here. And I think that's a cool part of it. The other mode that it has is going to be this engine start mode. Let's go over and try that out. I have about a five-year-old Optima red top in this Jeep and while it's showing 12.7 volts, as soon as I hit the key, it drops down, will not start this in, basically won't charge. So if we hit the engine start on this, it's going to start at 60 seconds and count us down and then uh, 56, 55. It's a little bit hard to see with this blue. Even in person, I can imagine through the camera, it's even more of a challenge. Once this hits zero, it's gonna beep again. That's gonna let us know that we're able to start the car at that point. Let's see how it works. So as you can hear, that was a pretty slow start. This battery is definitely not good by any means, but it worked and I think that's a great thing. Currently showing 13.3, 13.1 volts, which is fairly low. Let's just hit alternator test here, see what happens. It's blinking, it wants us to make sure that we have no load at all on the alternator and also it's supposed to have a good battery, which we don't have a good battery, but you can see here it comes up, it says alternator, good. One of the items that really excited me about this was its size, its ability to wrap all the cords up, keep it together, and its ability to charge at 30 amps. The LED screen was something I was very excited about. It works well if you're straight onto it. If you're not straight onto it, it gets fuzzy, you can see multiple different things that are on that aren't on, and it just needs to have a straight on view. Most of my use is going to be just simply charging something. This is going to tell us whatever we want to see between battery voltage and amps, although I still have a hard time seeing that. That looks like 40 A8, 43, that LED screen could use a little bit more finesse. When it is charging, this is the screen that you'll see. This is telling you the amps that it's putting into the battery. It's currently at 3.3, and then it shows you the battery as a normal battery charger would, kind of blinking its way up. Once it is fully charged, this 3.3 will turn into an FLO, which is a float charger. That's where you get your three amps, and it'll basically keep everything charged, and it'll turn itself on and off as needed to make sure that the battery is fully charged and correctly charged. This guy's small, which I think is a big bonus. You know, it wraps up nicely, everything goes together, and it seems to work well with being fairly quiet. You can hear the fan just turned on inside of it now. Something that I think is well worth having with the amount of cars, side-by-sides, and other things we have here, this is something that's easy. It'll start the car if need be, and it's easy to store inside a car or travel with it. So that's my gig. That's why I was interested in this. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Please give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.